Hey guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. It has been a hot second, not since I filmed a video because I've been filming some house updates. I just haven't edited it and posted it, but I just got back from two weeks in Europe and unfortunately I did not vlog any of that trip because I was on a family vacation and my family doesn't like to be on camera or posted on Instagram or anything like that. So it would have been nearly impossible to film the trip without getting them in some of it. So I decided just to truly take two weeks off from social media and um, uh, from like my actual nursing job, of course. Um, I did post some pictures on Instagram and some stories um, as we kind of went through the trip. So definitely make sure to follow me there. Um, but as you can see behind me, my apart or my, my apartment, I haven't lived in an apartment in a while. My house is a mess. Um, partially because I left it a little bit that way. Um, and partially because like my suitcase is out here open on the floor. I have laundry to do. I have, um, dishes to put away that are clean that I cleaned before I left. Um, I have to clean out my fridge a little bit. I have to go grocery shopping. I made myself a to-do list um, and stuck it on the kitchen counter. So we are going to do this together. It is 8.50 a.m. I'm going to start by um, cleaning up the kitchen so I can eat some breakfast um, and drink some coffee. <laughs> and then we'll move into some of the other tasks for today. My iPhone camera decided to have a little bit of a glitch. So while I was waiting for my phone to restart, I just emptied out some of the leftovers that I had accidentally left in my fridge. Um, so I have my dirty dishes, I have clean dishes that need to be put away, and then this is clean as well. Hmm? That doesn't look clean, but the rest of it's clean. So that needs to take another spin <laughs> through the dishwasher, but um, I'm gonna empty and reload this as well. I'm vaguely remembering now that I started to empty the dishwasher before I left, but then I had to go catch my flight, so I had only like reloaded half of it because everything on the bottom wasn't clean, which seems really weird. So hopefully that's the case and my dishwasher isn't like weirdly broken, <laughs> but that is now running. I have emptied out my fridge. Um, I need to make like a really good grocery list. I might even like hand write it um, kind of thing. Um, but now I'm really gonna eat breakfast. My whole counter is cleared off um, and I feel much better now that my kitchen is clean. You guys know my kitchen gets the messiest out of everything and it stresses me out a lot. So kitchen is clean. That is one thing checked off the list. I'll show you guys the rest of my list so we can kind of keep up together. And I really need breakfast and coffee now. And of course, YouTube always while I'm doing any sort of house activity. Three things checked off after I eat. We're gonna start with laundry. All right, so this is the status of the suitcase. 99% of the clothes in here are dirty, so I'm just gonna put them straight in the wash, do my laundry right away instead of starting off my week with a full load of laundry. Today is Wednesday. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I have to go back to work on Friday. So I only have today and part of tomorrow to get myself reset. Um, in terms of jet lag and everything. So this is just one thing I need to not be on my list to do tomorrow. So I'm gonna empty out my suitcase, put everything in the wash and kind of organize a pile to go upstairs um, rather than carrying the full suitcase upstairs just to carry most of it back down. So let's unpack this. I was able to get all of my um, like computer work done. I have to do some compliance stuff for school, my mortgage payment, um, the servicer got switched so I had to deal with that. I updated my budget from all the stuff I spent in Europe. My laundry is now in the dryer um, and I've been working on my grocery list. My suitcase um, was wiped down and brought upstairs so I just need to unpack the last couple upstairs things um, and I need to clean up my bedroom because my furniture is finally getting delivered. Um, so next up, I really got to take this recycling 
out or at least load it into my car. So um, I'm gonna have to actually get up and do that now. All of my recycling is taken out. You guys, I don't think I've had a clean entryway in probably like a month and a half. So I'm very excited that I finally got it all out. Um, so my laundry just went off. I'm gonna throw that all into a laundry basket, bring it upstairs, finish my grocery list, and then head out to grocery shop. Back from the grocery store, time to unload and put it all away and organize what I need to prep for the week. All right, it is fruit and veggie prep time. Carrots, blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, corn, which I'm just gonna husk, and then cucumbers. And I have three of my veggie keeper containers Hopefully if I put like all the berries in one, carrots in the other, cucumbers in the third, we'll make it work. And we're prepped. I actually think I might make this small piece of corn now because it looks really good. So I think I'm gonna eat that as a snack. It is hours later. I ate dinner. I've just been kind of chilling. I'm exhausted. Honestly, the jet lag is really, has been hitting me the last like hour and a half, two hours. So I've just been trying to like <laughs> do things that don't give me a headache. Um, I have like a stack of magazines that came while I was gone. So I've just been kind of flipping through them. Um, I got like a bunch of magazine subscriptions when I first moved of like a lot of like different like house ones, like Good Housekeeping, Better Homes and Gardens. Um, they were like really cheap. I think I spent like $30 to get a full year of like six six different magazines or something plus then I get like the free catalogs from like restoration hardware pottery barn like all stuff like that too so um I'm gonna head upstairs in just a minute and finish um taking everything out of my suitcase and putting everything back and then I need to clean out the last couple things out of my bedroom so I'll be ready to um have them move the furniture in tomorrow. I don't want to leave it for myself for the morning because I think that'll be too stressful. Um, and then I have to, like, I desperately have to wash my hair, you guys. I only washed it once in Europe and I like barely got away with it. Um, like my hair desperately needs to be washed. So I'm thinking I might um, hop on the Peloton just for like a 15 minute ride. Um, so at least like if I'm gonna wash my hair, I like sweat with it, you know, and like take advantage of the fact that I have to wash my hair anyway. Um, plus like, I'm just like craving a good Peloton workout. I haven't ridden the bike in a very long time, um, which sucks because I pay so much money per month to have the bike, you know, like I pay for the membership so much money every month and I just don't use it as much as I should. So I'm gonna go upstairs I'm gonna finish emptying out my suitcase so I can put it back in the guest bedroom closet and get it out of the way. I don't want it to just be sitting in my office for months. Um, I'm going to finish putting my like souvenirs and stuff away too. I wanna make like a little scrapbook, um, like print some pictures and I have like um, tickets and stuff and make like a little scrapbook of the Europe trip. Um, I think that'll be fun. So just kind of organize that. Um, and then we'll clean out the bedroom, ride the Peloton and shower. It's 6.30 right now. So that should put me at like 8.30, probably 8, 8.30, um, which will be an appropriate <laughs> hour to go to sleep considering um, the furniture delivery could come as early as 10 p.m. 10 p.m. 10 a.m. So I'm gonna have to be up at like eight or, or I'm gonna set an alarm for eight anyway, so. 8.39 is an acceptable time to go to bed with how jet lagged I am. So let's get up and do it. So my suitcase is put away and I did a 15 minute, 15 minute Kendall ride, which was my own fault. I don't know why after I've been gone for a while from the Peloton, I think taking a Kendall ride is a good idea. She always has the hardest classes. Um, but I finished my 15 minute ride, which I'm very proud of myself that I did it. I'm still out of breath. Um, my bike is installing an update, so I'm gonna kind of chill for a second while it does that, finish sweating, 
Then I'm gonna hop in the shower, wash my hair, do the whole nine. I need a good shower. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed. And I will talk to you guys in the morning to finish up the last couple things I need to do to reset my life for work on Friday. It's the next morning, my skin is looking rough. I put on pimple patches and it didn't really do the trick, but it's 8.45 right now. Bedroom is all set up and ready to go. I vacuumed. The only thing is my mattress is still sitting in there. I'm hoping that they can help me move it because it's a pillow top queen mattress. I can't move it by myself. Um, but I have all my towels and sheets and blankets in it. Well, except for the blanket I'm sitting with. That's all in the wash right now because I'm going to do fresh sheets on the new bed. Um, I also am finally going to get to use my new comforter. I've been waiting to put the new comforter on the bed until I got the bed frame. So I have like my old one that's like stained and everything. I've had it for years. So I finally get to throw that out today. And then... Um, I'm just like tracking my delivery on the website. It says he'll be here at 924. I don't know how true that really is because I know there's at least one stop before me and it's already, like I said, 845. So we'll see. Um, and then I have therapy at 10. A phone call about um, something happening this fall at 130. And then I have to go get some blood work for my master's program later this afternoon too. So it'll be a very busy afternoon. Um, I think I'm gonna make some coffee maybe in a second. I don't know, I'm not super tired yet at least. I actually woke up at like 6.15, 6.30 this morning, like feeling super rested. So um, I feel like maybe I finally have kicked the jet lag. Anyway, now I'm just rambling. I will check in with you guys when I do some more reset stuff.